Hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing and Basketball. Listen, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe, and most importantly, hit that donate button. You see that cash app down below? You see that Zell down below? Man, go there, donate. And also, if you notice down there about my thumbs up, my like, down there at the bottom, there's a thanks button down there now. You see that thanks button? It's brand new. Click on that thanks button. If you do that, it gives you like four options, the $2, $5, $10, and 50 Man, make sure you donate. Help your boys stand out so we can keep these videos pumping and going. Damn. Vasil Lamachenko. Vasil Lamachenko versus Richard Comey. This fight here, it's an interesting fight, and I'm going to tell you why. Let me, let me tell you my thoughts on this fight. Um, Vasil was hailed as a one of the greatest pound for pound. Even though he lost early in his career, still had him pound for pound. But then he turned around and got defeated by Tiafimo Lopez. Now he's been written off. And I think early this year, he fought some Nakatani or somebody like that and beat the guy. But nobody really just paid attention to that fight, right? But Richard, he already has like three losses. Um, the interesting thing, he, he lost early a split decision to, uh, Robert E.C. Jr., which is Adrian Broner's boy about billions. And then he lost to, I think a Russian guy, Dennis, somebody, Sheriff or something like that. I can't pronounce the guy's last name, but interesting. And that was a split decision loss also, but interesting. He got beat by Teofimo Lopez by TKO. So now I'm thinking, man, this is an interesting fight. Is Richard shell shot from that TKO knockout of Tiafimo? And is he afraid to take some tough shots now? You know, it's his mind messed up from that loss. But then on the flip side, Vasil Lomachenko, right? Can he beat somebody at the skill level of Richard that's lanky, tall, and has reach on him? I mean, because Vasil really isn't that tall. And when you're not that tall and you're fighting somebody like Richard, that got some decent pop and punch. Can you find a way to work your way inside? Because if Richard can just box and keep you at, at that long distance range with his arms, as long as his arms are, um, I mean, it's an interesting fight. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really convinced that Vasil can beat Richard Comey. And I think Richard, and like I said, unless he's really mentally shell-shocked from that TKO from Teofimo Lopez, I don't see Vasil beating him. And let me tell you something. If Vasil Lomachenko loses to Richard, he's done. There's nothing else Bob Aaron can do to savage his career. To go from a guy that had, what, 400 amateur fights, I think it was, five 400, with, I think, one or two losses, a couple losses, I think they said he had. With two losses on your record now as a pro, there's nothing. Matter of fact, Richard has nothing to lose because nobody really expects him to win anyway. But Lamachinko, you let him lose, it's a done deal. Listen, I want y'all thoughts down below. I'm going to go out on a, on a prediction and say that Richard Comey is going to beat um, Lamachenko. I, I just think his height and his movement and his little pop to his punch is going to be just enough to keep Lamachenko at bay. I, I just, I mean, I could be wrong, but we'll see. We'll see if, if, Lamachenko, if Lamachenko can beat him convincingly and knock him out then he's going to get some nice title shots. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I don't know against who, but he'll get some. But y'all leave your thoughts, comments down below. Hey, make sure you donate. Click that cash app. Click that Zelle. Hit that easier thing. Just hit that thanks button down below. Hit that thanks so you can donate some money to your boy's channel. So we can keep these coming, baby. All right, until next time, this is Sean with Boxing and Basketball.